Hey guys, I'm making a part two of like a Q&A question that I came up with. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on the post notification. This time I'm only doing a couple because the ones that I chose have a lot of like stuff to like talk about. So the next question is because I made a part one before this. Like, and one is one thing that I have learned from a teacher, like, one is one thing I have learned from a dance teacher or just any teacher in life that, like, you know, one is something that I learned from them that's, like, more important than just, like, oh, like, maybe a dance step. Like, I'm going to go with dance teachers on because... Personally, I feel like I have connected with my dance teachers more than any, like, teachers. And what I mean is, I'm homeschooled. I, like, went to music class at one point. I kind of connected a little bit with that teacher a little bit. Like, I didn't, like, hate her or anything. Like, she was very nice. But, like, even then, like, I then I also... Um, had went to art class at one point and I never connected with that teacher like I I kept like trying to connect with her like no it was the sort of thing where what I mean by that and, and she was the type where like and like I never hated her but I also never like had like any form of real connection or like I got excitement like it was just kind of like she was a nice person and nothing negative to say about her. But I feel like nothing ever clicked with her, unlike some of my, like, other teachers and stuff. So it was nothing negative, just nothing, like, crazy positive. Like, it was just what it was. And I feel like the only r real reason I ever kept going to art class one, well, first up, like, I doing art stuff is, like, kind of fun sometimes. And I feel like that wasn't the main reason I was going. The main reason I was going was because of, of the fact that, like, my crush went. And so, like, it was, like, an excuse. Like, it was an excuse to see my crush one extra time a month. And it was, like... Because the second Saturday of every month is when we we go. Because that's when it would happen. So it was like an excuse to see my crush and like do art stuff with him. And then also, I had a friend who used to go to music class that continued going to art class after they quit music class. And that was like amazing. Right, and I felt like at first, I kind, like, at first, I kind of didn't want to lose her as a friend, because she was kind of, like, the only friend that I really had at music class, up until my crush. But also, I feel like eventually life happened, and I eventually, after I did lose her, I feel like I eventually went over it, like, I, she's a great person, and if I ever one day find her again, like, great, but I feel like, like, it never got to me, like, after, like, I lost her, like, I, and I feel like, I generally, the reason it didn't get to me was because, I want to say, like, soon after she quit, and, like, is when my crush came into the picture, so, like, that spot had kind of been filled again, so, like, but generally, I feel like the only reason I ever went to art class was just to see my crush. But I also went to a reading tutor, and I connected really well with her. So, like, I'm going to do, like, dance teachers because that, like, and I will say it's kind of a different thing with each of my dance teachers. I will say with... 
Abby, I, there's so much I have learned from her. Like, Abby is the type of person where if I ever do have to lose her from my life, that's not going to be easy. And because Abby is the type, like, I'll say this. I feel like not everyone can handle Abby. And what I mean by that is Abby definitely has tough love. She loves her students, and she loves to teach dance, and, but she is definitely tough on her students. She pushes them to be the best that they can be, and I feel like, I, I kind of feel like that doesn't work with everyone, because I feel like you have to be almost in a certain like type of person or like mindset to work with Abby, and I mean that not really as a negative, and a, I mean that as, there's some, what I mean, and, and you're someone that is taking dance just kind of for fun, like, and you're just doing it for fun, you're not actually planning to make it, like, a career, you don't really care about, like, making mistakes or not, you're just kind of doing it for a little bit of fun or something, and, or, and you don't handle constructive criticism well. What I mean is, like, if you don't handle correction well, or you don't like it when someone, like, like, points out a mistake that you make, then working with Abby is not going to work well for you, I feel like. Because Abby does her job. She gives um, very nice corrections. Like, she gives correction very nicely, and... She wants the best for everyone, and that's what I generally love about her. So, it really is all based off of how you like, handle that situation, but Abby is one of the nicest people I have ever met, and I have literally nothing bad to say about Abby, and I feel like Abby, kind of in a way, is, like, inspiring, because Abby's gone through a lot in her life, I mean, she's gone through health problems, different things, and I feel like she survived it all, and so I feel like when you're in class with her, or at least with me, it almost is more of like this, like, if she can survive all of that, I can get through a class. Like, I can get through oh, her tough love. She's only making me a better dancer, and Abby is extremely incredible. And I feel like Abby has almost become, she's more of like a friend slash dance teacher that wants the best. And I feel like I connected with Abby more because first up I do better when someone on me about mistakes Thanks, and I love that tough love situation I do better with that and also there's an airplane also like at the same time Abby is like at screen like I feel like I connected more because Abby didn't say anything to me. Like, the first master class I did, Abby didn't say one word to me. And I feel like I'm happy that's how it worked. Because I feel like she knew I had potential and a good work ethic. And I feel like she was almost making me, like, I'm kind of, like, holding off a little bit. So then when I did that next master class, and she made me a favorite. It meant a thousand times more to me. Like, I feel like I loved it so much more. And so, like, I just generally, like, I love Abby. Like, Abby is, like, amazing, and she forever has a part of my heart, okay, like, I, or, like, I always will love her, like, 
she doesn't actually have, like, my heart, but, like, I'm, like, a piece of it, but, uh, like, I, I, she has a part of it emotionally, like, like, because I have a good connection with her, and I feel like that, or, or now, I'm gonna move to Gianna, Gianna Martello, I feel like, with her, it was a different situation, because Gianna was kind of, like, she didn't really say much to me, like, she didn't really notice me too much, but I feel like she also, like, was only, I felt like that was in a good way. Like, it worked really well because of that, and I feel like, I, Gianna has always given, like, very nice corrections and been an amazing person who generally only just one of the nicest people I have ever met. I feel like I'm, Abby and Gianna are both extremely incredible and amazing and very talented. And then we have Taylor. Taylor, I feel like it was a very different situation with Taylor. I, I feel like at first, it was more at first about, like, I didn't know who he was because I generally didn't. Like, I, Abby and Gianna, I knew who they were because they were on Dance Moms, like, all of that. But I felt like Taylor, like, I didn't know who he was. So, like, that was different. And then I eventually learned. And, like, I feel like he's very talented at what he does. I feel like there's not much to really say, but he's very talented, and he seems like a great person. And, and not in the way of, like, I, it's sort of like, I'm a great person as a dance teacher, so I just overall in life, just a good person, like, but, like, nothing, like, much to say. Then... We have Natalie. Natalie and me instantly clicked. I feel like we instantly clicked, even though right away I didn't know who she was. But I feel like we clicked because I love hip-hop, and she's uh, my hip-hop teacher. So, like, that kind of, like, started us off on a good way. And then I feel like Natalie has always been one that, like, I'm very much open, like, literally... I mean, I DM'd her yesterday, I think, no, oh wait, it was the day before yesterday, and I'm like, hey, I'm not going to be on there next week, I'm going, around well, next Tuesday, I'm going to see JoJo on tour, like, and that's fine, and it's just, we always had a very good, like, friendship relationship. Well, also, she's an amazing teacher, and I love that. I'm going to do one more because, which is Angela. Angela, well, actually, I'll do, like, a couple more. Angela was a substitute dance teacher, and me and her, we clicked. We clicked right away, and I felt like, I never knew why we clicked right away, but within 10 seconds of her class, I'm, like, mind-blown. She's generally just an amazing person. I, I feel like she's an amazing person. She's an amazing dance teacher, and, and she very much is a lot like me when it comes to, like, dance. Because, like... I literally, she managed to do something that I thought was completely impossible. I did not think this was possible. She managed to make conditioning fun. She, like, made it do conditioning to Pac-Man music, and I loved it. Like, I love Pac-Man. She basically combined something that I generally love. Been something I generally don't like, but I see the importance of, and somehow made it work. Or like I'm like I see the importance of conditioning. I don't really like it. It's not fun, 
but it's very important as a dancer, and I, like, learned to kind of, like, be okay with it, even though it's not the most fun thing in the world. Um, and I feel like she managed to, like, make it fun, and that, like, is, like, really cool. I just kind of feel like I also, she did a lot with, like, improv and, like, different things, and I just generally, overall, like her, like, a lot. Like, she's an amazing dance teacher, well, substitute dance teacher, and I hope to work with her again one day, because she's incredible. And I feel like we also kind of hit that, like, friendship, like, thing, like, through Instagram. I'm going to do Danny. Danny is my ballet teacher. I feel like we were set off not to, like, click, and, but then it kind of clicked. And what I mean by that is, like, I, because ballet can be boring, and I'm not big into ballet, so that was, like, a downside. But I feel like she managed to make it more of an upside and a positive. I feel like she always managed to figure out how to keep me entertained with ballet. And that I just generally love. Um, like, there's not much to really say there. She's just an amazing dance teacher. So I'm going to leave at that because that's all of them, like, that one substitute dance teacher and all of them. Oh, wait, Alyssa. Forgot Alyssa. Like, my fault. Alyssa and me, I feel like at first I didn't really know what, like, we were in, like, we're, like, I feel like at first I liked her as a dance teacher, but I still didn't really know her. She was, like, newer. Or, and then I feel like, because she does so many different, like, things with us, I feel like eventually it just started clicking and went quick. Like, there's not really much to say. I, and I feel like she's an amazing dance teacher. So, that is going to be it for this video. I want to, like, kind of just talk about, like, that. Peace out. Actually, no. I thought of one more question that I want to answer. Airplane. For some reason, there are a lot of airplanes today. I don't know why. It's kind of annoying because I'm filming. The thing that I'm, the final question that I want to actually quickly answer is, um, it may not be super quickly, but was me and my crush. Kind of like, I wanted to like hit something specific, which was what it was like, kind of like how it changed music class. For me, like that situation, because it changed like a lot of things. I feel like in music class, it definitely like changed him, like starting to come, and like I feel like with him at first, as much as he was the complete opposite of me, it almost like clicked immediately. I almost like instantly I knew like something was gonna come from this. Either, whether it was just, like, kind of friends, or really good friends, or, like, best friends, or I was gonna eventually have a crush on him. Like, I didn't know what was gonna come from it, like, but I felt like once he started coming, it actually worked better for me, because I kind of had lost, like, my one, like, friend, like, there, and what I mean by that was there was a little girl that went for a while, and then other things came up, and she, like, I stopped going, and when that happened, it meant really the only person that, like, and we did something partner-related. Luckily, we did not do that for, like, I, a good little while before my crush came in. That worked on my end. And, like, that worked really well. It meant that, like, oh, like, the person I want to be partnered with was the teacher, and that was it. Because I was very shy. But I feel like once my crush came into it, that kind of changed, because then it was like, oh, 
like, I had someone that, like, I can be partners with and actually, like, want to be partners with. So I feel like a lot changed from that, and I feel like music class just got a thousand times better from that, and I felt like it worked really well because I got to, like, really know him, like, pretty well, but also I got to know, um, like, a little, like, I got to, like, meet his grandparents and, like, kind of get, um, like, I feel like it worked because his grandparents and my dad kind of, like, clicked, like, they were on good terms, like, both of them, like, I knew that, like, they just wanted what was best for us, like, in the end, and what I mean by that is, like, I, there was never, like, like, for an example, like, there was one time, like, I, I, like, tried to tell him that I liked him, literally, when we went outside, I, where I was going to tell him, and, like, he already knew I, like, was going to talk to him, to him, like, his grandmother was there to, like, pick him up, and my dad literally went over to her for a second, and, then, like, they're going to talk for a minute, like, and, like, there was no second, like, question, and, like, she didn't, like, question, like, like, safety or anything, like, it was just, like, we knew them so well, and, like, they knew us so well that, like, it it worked really well, and so I felt like that was really good. Now, my hopes are that one day, if I find him, because I'm changing that into an if, I do think I will find him one day, I hope. Like, I don't really know if I'll find him one day, but I really do hope so. That hopefully things will click between, or things will go that good between my mom and them, like, that's, like, my one thing, because I do not want to take, like, in a situation where I know my mom, and I know she kind of makes things into a girl and girl situation, like, and I say this because a really long time ago, I, like, my family's watching this, they do not know this, but a really long time ago, ago, I did, like, a walk thing for, like, autism with, like, I'm some of my family and stuff. I'm there with, like, this, like, event thing. And basically what happened was no one really knows them, but someone from music class, this, like, much younger boy from music class, in class came up behind me and hugged me. And, like, I didn't really tell anyone. And then... I actually, like, Bella's sister, like, found out, um, now, and that was, like, kind of awkward for me, because I did not want to break his heart, but at the same, like, I didn't want to break his heart, but, like, that was kind of my only option, luckily, only I never brought it up, so luckily, there was never anything more there, so I didn't have to, that was worked on my end, and I just, like, because at that point, I already had a crush on, like, my crush, like, things were already clicked between, well, like, I was hoping things had clicked between me and my crush, and that eventually, like, I would tell him, or he would, like, I'd come and, like, I'd tell me, like, oh, I have a crush on you, and I, like, hoping that sort of thing would happen, but yeah. Um, but, like, instantly my mom was like, ooh, did you like it? Like, starting to, like, straight up, like, make this into, like, a little bit of a thing. And I just don't want that happening. So, peace out.